Today, let's discuss mountains. Around 20% of the Earth's surface is covered in mountains. To be considered a mountain and not just a hill, it usually has to reach 305 meters above sea level, or 1,000 feet. Some mountains are more than 3,000 meters above sea level. Each mountain range has a unique history. But we can group mountains by how they're formed. In our volcano video, we already mentioned how cooled lava from a volcano can continue to build up to form a mountain. But this is not the only way to form a mountain. Often mountains are found at converging boundaries. Plates moving towards each other push into one another, and Earth's crust can fold. Hot, soft rock in the crust bends and curves, folding up into a mountain range. Many mountain ranges were formed this way, including the Himalayan mountains. The tallest in the Himalayan mountain range is Mount Everest, standing over 8,800 meters or 29,000 feet tall. Elevation higher than 26,000 feet is called the death zone because there is so little oxygen. The Himalayan mountains are actually still growing taller as India continues to push into Asia. Mountains can also form at faults. Faults are cracks in the Earth's crust where the rocks were brittle and broke from pressure. Blocks of Earth's crust can lift up or slide down, creating mountains. The Sierra Nevada mountains were formed this way. Even if mountain ranges are not currently growing like the Himalayas, they are very slowly but continually changing because of erosion. Young mountains are jagged or rough at the top but old mountains are rounded because of weathering and erosion wearing them away. <laughs>